for the guy that's running against Marte's Zappa Touch help. And uh, in the previous video, I showed you how to get the uh, fifth icon in your dock, right there. And in this video, I'm going to show you how to get five rows, excluding the dock. So one, two, three, four, five. Alright, guys. And then in the uh, video following up after this, I'm going to get five icons in each row. So stay tuned for that one. Alright, so to get the five rows, you're simply going to go into Cydia. Not install our city at this time. Alright. And all we're going to do is install one simple source. And you'll be able to find it. Alright. I'm going to give you the source here in a second. So this will do. And by the way, guys, if, uh, I'm, I'm using the VNC because I think it gives you guys a much clearer picture than my previous videos. If you guys don't like this and you'd rather I'm use the iPod Touch itself, please leave a comment. But until then, I will probably continue to use this because, in my opinion, it gives a better picture. Alright, so, uh, let City load up completely. So you come to your home screen. Alright, guys. And then you can click on, well, hold on, still the load. So there you guys, I have really slow city up for some reason. Just give it a couple more seconds guys, please bear with me here. Alright, once city completely loads up, we're going to click on manage. On the bottom. Click on sources. And then in the top right corner, up here, you're going to click Edit. Then in the left, Add. And you're going to get that screen into the source, the studio. Alright guys, now following the HTTP uh, semicolon forward slash forward slash, you're going to enter the source as follows. Let me go ahead and read this off to you guys. Alright guys. You're going to add this one right here. Okay, it's Cydia.touch. Alright, Cydia.touch hyphen mania.com. So Cydia.touch hyphen mania.com. Alright, I'll also post it in the description if you guys can understand me clearly. Alright, so Cydia.touch hyphenmania.com alright I'm going to click add the source and then what you're going to do is go to all packages actually on your screen you go to all packages I've already installed it so I have to go and do uh, previously installed packages just pretend I'm on the all packages screen for you guys so you're going to scroll on to your F's and you're going to get this one right here. It's going to say 5L rows. You guys see that? I remember, I'm in, I'm in uh, previously installed packages, but you will be in all packages. Alright, so you're going to click on that. Or you guys can just search it too, actually. It's 5L rows. Right, you guys can read that. Alright, you're going to install that. I've already done so, as I usually do, so I'm not going to do that again. And then, you're going to, well after you're done installing it, it'll give you the option to respring your uh, springboard. After you're, you're at the little terminal page for downloading Stadia stuff, you're going to hit respring uh, springboard, or restart whatever they give you. It'll go back to your home screen, and you'll have five rows. Alright. And that's all it needs, guys, to get the five rows. But you still do not have the fifth icon, however. Alright, so, once again, stay tuned for that uh, final video of the trilogy that I'm posting on how to get more space here. And uh, thanks for watching, guys. Please subscribe, write, and comment. And stay tuned for that last video.